and we'll see how this uh, FaceTime pre-inspection move out goes. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Jessica and I do a lot of military um, informational content. So if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and continue following me along on this crazy journey. All right, so today is Friday and I have a few things ahead of me. Um, today we are doing a kindergarten graduation for the school that I'm working with. I am a spe special education teacher and um, right now I'm working for a private family. So it's a little bit different in regards to a regular um, teacher um, position, but honestly, this has been the best job I've ever had. It's been so rewarding, and honestly, I'm so sad to be leaving um, my kiddo at the end of the month because we are PCSing. So in regards to that, we are PCSing, which means today is our pre-inspection for our move out. We are living on base housing, and that means that base housing is going to come into our house. Well, not base housing. Um, Lincoln is going to do a pre-inspection. And they're going to go ahead and walk around our house and kind of tell us what needs to be fixed, fixed prior to us moving. As well as um, what we might have to be paying on our move out cost. We do have dog, a dog and we do have a cat and a baby. And so, yes, our house has, you know, has a few things that need work on. Um, our carpet is not the 100%, you know, because um, our little one did start potty training. We've had a few accidents, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, so we're expecting some move out costs. But, you know, we prepared for that. We have budgeted it for that. So we're not too stressed about the cost. Being said, I have to get going, go to the school because we are having graduation this morning. Um, I think I'm going to be working with a kiddo. Um, my kiddo, after graduation, it might be just an hour or two. And then I'll be headed home, going to do a little bit of a deep cleaning with um, getting prepared for our, our pre-inspection. And then I don't know what else is going to happen. Today is Friday, so I think I want buffalo wild wings um, and a beer at the end of the day. So we'll see, but I'm going to bring you along for today and kind of I have a lot of things to do. Thankfully, my husband is taking the little one to school, so I don't have to worry about that. But I do have to take out this car seat. Oops. Hold on, guys. Whew. Okay, I just remembered. I need to take out that car seat, put it in my husband's truck because he will be taking Lucas to school. And yeah, I got to get going. I'm actually running late, like always. Alright guys, so it's a few hours later. I went to the school graduation, our kindergarten graduation. Uh, went to my kiddo's house, worked with her for a few hours. And then I made a trip to Target to pick up some things that I needed for the baby as well as for my husband. And now I am finally back at home. It's about um, what is it? 1 o'clock right now. And I have a few cleaning things I need to do. I need to... Um, clean the stairs, vacuum the stairs. Um, probably, we're probably gonna just um, like carpet clean the bottom stairs as well as the top stairs, and then fix my bed, fix Lucas's room, kind of put away the mess. But I did want to mention that um, I know I talked about us having our pre inspection today, and I don't think I mentioned that this pre inspection is going to be over FaceTime, um, which is weird and odd and makes no sense to me but that's how we're gonna do it what they're gonna do is call me on my phone and we're gonna do FaceTime and I guess I'm walking them around my house and showing them things I'm not too sure how that's gonna go so I'm gonna re be recording it um, they're doing this because of COVID-19 and I guess they don't want to come into our house um, so they're not exposed to as many people like I don't know Whatever, because, you know, I still had maintenance come over last week, and they were fine. Um, but, you know, the housing office, they're not coming in, doing in, any inspections right now. So that's what we're going to do, FaceTime inspection. We'll see how it goes, see what they say. And I'm honestly just going to show them the nice parts of the house. You know, we're going to skip over things. Go away, child. Um, yeah, so that's what's going to happen um for today so i'm um, gotta get cleaning gotta fix my bed so it doesn't look like a hot mess because no i didn't fix the bed because i left before my husband and the baby and they were still in the bed when i left um 
this morning. So, can I do that? And I'll check back with you in a bit. My heart is open. It just took some time. Now I just hope that you'd stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you make that smile. So just stay for a little while. So just stay for a little Okay, so as you probably saw, I had a big um, clear bin container on my bed. And what I'm doing with that bin right now, I have two, I bought two of them. And I'm going to be putting things that we are going to need the first couple of nights in our house. These bins are going to go into the back of my car. Whew, I don't know why I'm out of breath. Jeez, Louise. Um, so yeah, those are going to go in the back of my car. Um, they're going to be labeled first night box. Um, I'm going to have two of them as well as, you know, our uh, luggage that we're going to be taking across um, the country when we're doing a road trip. But those will be on uh, my car. Easy access will be the first ones that go into the house. And they're going to have what I've already put in there so far is two shower curtains. I still need the lining. I put my daughter's new bed sheets. So I bought a brand new one. So I kept them in the package. They're going to be in there. I'm going to put a crib sheet for my son as well as I'm going to buy myself um, new bed sheets for our room. I also put in some toilet paper in there. Someone opened it. I'm putting that in there just because we are going to be going across country. Who knows if there's toilet paper in the gas stops, uh, rest stops. Or um, when we get to wherever we're going, if there's going to be toilet paper. So I'm just going to have a few extra rolls in there just in case. Who knows if we're going to need them or not. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing with those bins. I have two of them. One's going to be for like the bedrooms and in case an emergency kind of stuff, um, first night things. And then the other one's going to be more of essentials for um, hygiene and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. But okay, so we're just about done cleaning. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's cleaned. Um, I am waiting for them to call me. It's two fifty nine, so they should be calling me in a few minutes, and we'll see how this uh, FaceTime pre inspection move out goes. <laughs> Uh, my husband's like, why are you cleaning so much? Why are you doing this? Or you're going to be on the phone for four minutes. But what I told him was, I'd rather have it clean and looking nice and decent and showing like, you know, we take care of our stuff rather than our house being a mess and them seeing that. And then when it comes out to our move out inspection, um, they are looking more closely for things that may be damaged or not clean. So just showing them now that, hey, we cleaned up. And uh, this is how, you know, our house is and we don't get charged out of the butt. So, fingers crossed, everything that goes good and yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Yay! All right, let's see if they call me and I'll check back with you in a bit. Yeah. All right guys, so they didn't look at anything in our house i didn't have to show them anything except the things that i wanted to mention um like our um trimming on the cabinets where the previous tenant painted them brown um and the paint is starting to come off so i did show them that but other than that they they didn't ask to look around the house they didn't ask me to like walk around with uh, facetime showing them each room which is what I kind of expected um so <laughs> I cleaned the house for no reason at all but my house is clean so that's a plus um it's always good to have a good cleaning in I guess I don't know I just kind of felt like I was stressing out them more more than what I needed to um I had my daughter go pick up all the toys from the backyard because I thought they were going to ask okay show us the backyard or whatever, because during, you know, pre-inspections, they literally walk through your house and just kind of look at things. Um, he kind of just asked me, you know, 
do I know any damage of any damages? Do I want to mention anything? Um, he asked me about, you know, the countertops, the baseboards, the doorways, um, if there was any holes in the walls, the screens, like those big ticket items. And if I said no, he's like, okay, if I said yes, I went ahead and I showed it to him. Um, but yeah, I didn't show him anything. I didn't show him like our, the rooms or anything. So I kind of had us crazily cleaning the house <laughs> when it wasn't needed. But my house is clean, so that's a plus. And it just helps me with our move out process and getting our stuff together and ready for us to get the hell out of here at the end of the month. I do want to mention that my next video is going to be a U-Haul kind of, U-Haul? What's it called? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My next video is going to be a road trip essential video. I'm going to be talking about all the essential things that I'm taking on our road trip. We've done this trip a few times. I am going to be targeting a lot about, you know, what you need to have when you're traveling with pets, as well as a toddler and a teen and a husband and yourself. So I hope you enjoy that one and make sure you click that subscribe button so you can get notified when that video comes up because guys, I've been buying a ton of things that I know is going to make my trip more enjoyable and less stress. So I'm going to help you guys out with that. I know a lot of people are going to be coming up on road trips as well as PCSing. So I want to give you those tips and tricks to get that going. All right, so I'm going to end it. I know it's freaking long, this video, but I'm sorry. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some idea as to how pre-inspection move out are going for military base housing. And I love you. Thank you for watching and supporting my small channel. I hope 